Welcome, welcome, lettering lovers. Today we're looking at uh, overlapping speech bubbles in Photoshop. So uh, let's get going. And we've got our panel set up here. As we can see, we've got some uh, rather hungry looking zombies. And over here in the layers panel, we've got all our elements. So we've got text all in a folder there just to keep it nice and neat. And we've got our bubbles below. Now I've got uh, this bubble here, which contains well, two bubbles technically. Now I've created this shape by uh, merging shapes together, which is the preferred way of doing your bubbles in Photoshop. It just gives a bit more flexibility and allows you to pull off some neat tricks like this, like what I'm about to show you now. And then we've got our second bubble there. Now if you look at the ordering of the panels, you can see that this bubble, as it's in front, it's fighting with this one behind to be the prominent panel, prominent bubble on the page and that could potentially be confusing for the reader and it's your job as a letterer to make a reader's life as easy as possible and we could drop this balloon under the other two but as you can see we start to uh, we, we uh, the eye is drawn from this bubble down to this bubble and skips that one out so that's not ideal so i'm just going to pop that bubble on top now the simple way to do this is using something called masks which i'll show you now I'll turn off the text, just so that's out of the way, and I'll select the layer we've got below here, and all I'm gonna do is duplicate that, which is Control and J, or you can go into your options and just click Duplicate Layer. So now we've got two versions of the layer at the bottom, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'll turn off this bottom layer, and I'll drag this other layer, above balloon number two right there now masks work by adding an invisible layer over the top of your contents of your layer so we'll apply the mask now so you just come down here and you click add layer mask and this creates a mask here which is now attached to your layer so here's your contents and here's your mask always make sure when you're messing with the mask you can see the square around it now the idea is that as you can see everything on the panel on the uh, layer below through the mask, if we delete part of the mask, it's gonna delete what can be seen from the content. So I'll show you here, I'll just grab the erase tool over here. And if I start to, making sure your mask is selected, if I start to delete parts of that mask, you can see it's going away there. Now you can do this uh, either using the uh, eraser tool or alternatively you could use anything that enables you to select part of the mask and delete it with a delete like that so we can do it that way you can use the lasso tool whatever takes you fancy so now we've got uh, part of that layer hidden and i can disable the mask here with a right click and you can see it's still there to enable it again and all i'm going to do we simply turn on our layer at the bottom and bingo you can see there we've got our bubbles now in the correct order drop the text back on and we've got ourselves some overlapping bubbles perfect right go and make some bubbles enjoy yourself while you're doing it and i'll see you all again soon thank you